Okay, so let's jump straight into this video. Today we're going to talk about this. This is the Flextail Zero pump. Now, I've used pumps for a number of years now and I find it so much more convenient than after a long day's hiking trying to blow up a pad. It's just not the best thing, is it? It's not ideal. If you agree with me, hit that thumbs up button. But obviously, having one of these and they keep modifying it and going back to the drawing board making different models now i've had hair uh, from the original tiny pump the x2 i've had the boat pump all of them have been sent to me apart from this one this one i've gone out and purchased so this is a, an honest review of what how i've used it um so i've been out earlier on and i tried to blow up um, a few of my pads and the battery died on the camera and i didn't realize so i had all the pads lined up blown up and this lasted phenomenally i got uh, all six of the pads that I take, took out with me are blown up and it's been brilliant a couple of little things that I don't like about it uh, I'll talk about them later on in the video as well is just how tinny it sounds when you're opening it up it sounds really gritty I'm not sure if you can pick that up on there but it just it feels flimsy just on this bit now I know they're using light materials to keep the weight down at 1.2 ounce you know it weighs less than one of them sort of included blow up bags that you can sort of get, you know, the pump bags. When you fill them with air and then squeeze them into your mat, weighs a lot less than one of them. Um, but this bit just feels flimsy. Uh, I don't like the fact as well that the battery is rechargeable on the outside. So I came across this. Now, if you're a regular to the channel, you'll know that I've done a review of this as well. This is the Phoenix HM50R. Now this uses a rechargeable CR123 battery. 123A battery and you can charge this on the device uh, so what I'll be doing is I'll be carrying these as a tandem I've got two batteries I can always sort of keep one battery topped up on a power bank and I've got the pump and the headlight going together there so that's one little tip for you uh, but carrying one of these is second to none you know for the weight of it it's negligible you know you're not using getting moisture inside your inside your mats so it's going to be a lifesaver, a game changer, and you know, it's probably the greatest of all time and the world's tiniest pump. I can see why they've put a lot of thought into it and I can see why, the, why a lot of people are raving about it. So let's get into the review video and then we'll bring you back for my final thoughts. All right, let's take a look and see what we get inside the box. So as you can see, quite a detailed box on the outside there, just a couple of little details about the efficiency of it and then some specifications and things down in the bottom left hand corner here and then some more details on the nozzles there so let's get everything out and show you all around and there we go that's the contents of the box so as you can see top left got usb -C type c charging cable dotted around you can see the six different nozzles the unit itself and then just a little lanyard here so ideal lightweight tiny piece of kit and absolutely brilliant at its job. I've been out already and tested it a couple of times on a few different pads and it was working an absolute treat. Bit upset that one of the nozzles doesn't fit one of the pads that I've got so I've modified it in a little way and I'll show you that in a little bit later on in the video. But for now let's uh, go through some specs and talk about the product itself. Okay so how it works is you go and get a nozzle and you attach it to your mat Um, obviously selecting the right one then you attach the pump itself and then just activate the pump and it inflates obviously if you look at it it says inflate on one side and deflate on the other which i'll flash over at top for you now okay so the battery inside is a 650 milliamp power cr123 these are readily available all over i've just had a quick scout on amazon you can pick up 10 non-rechargeable ones for a little under 15 quid let's just take a closer look at some of the nozzles so as you can see on here you've got the flex tail logo just written across the middle there and then if you look here it tells you the model number or the item number for each specific nozzle and it tells you downward towards the, the pad and then upwards towards the pump so obviously if you can imagine the pump coming in and just sort of connecting into there going in just like that so it tells you that on each and every individual nozzle uh, so if you go onto Flextail's website, it tells you uh, a number of models that each one of these nozzles will fit. So ranging from like Climate, Nemo, um, 
Flextail have their own one, and Xbed, some big Agnes ones, just to name a few. But yeah, if you go on, you can have a look, and it'll tell you which one will do each mat. As I said earlier, uh, a new mat that I've got it didn't, so I've modified it in a little way, so we'll have a look at that. As we said, the weight of the item is 1.2 ounces, and the maximum pressure rate is 2.5 kPa. Uh, size is 1.02 by 2.95 inches and it's got a maximum airflow of 180 litres per minute and a running time of like constant use of 25 minutes and as we said the battery capacity is 650 milliamp hour a couple of little things that I'm not so keen on um, with this model is just how flimsy this aluminium feels so you can, I don't know if you can hear that on camera it sounds a little bit gritty as we're opening it up and the aluminium although yes it's good light good lightweight material just feels that little bit flimsy just on there yeah as i'm tightening it back up now you'll be able to hear it probably you sound feel how gritty that sounds i could probably lubricate it up a little bit and just stop a little bit of that noise but as i was saying earlier we've got the inflate and the deflate there so obviously put your pump nozzles on this side to blow it up nozzles on this side to deflate as i just mentioned before um a new pad that i've picked up doesn't have a nozzle um in the flex tail zero box compatible with it because it's an old 16 mil valve uh, so i've got this one out of the tiny x2 and i've got the f1 from inside the zero box so all i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna pop these two together and as I said before, you can see one says pad and one says pump. So on this end on the pad, and it creates a nice, good airtight seal there. And then this one the pump. And then away we go. So I've come outside now just to test this uh, Flextail Zero pump. I brought with me a few sleeping pads. So let's get to it. Hopefully I've already gone through what we get inside the box. Uh, but obviously you get the pump, a little Type-C charging cable and then six additional nozzles. Now, I've used Flextail products many, many times. Now, I've bought this one myself, but I have been sent them previously in the past. This has been my mainstay, uh, mainly because of the color. This is the Tiny Pump X2 with all the different nozzles, and I keep it in this waterproof safe box just to uh, keep it all nice and dry. But just have a look at the difference in size of these two here. You've got the Pump Zero, in my left hand and then the tiny pump 2x in my right hand and just holding them in my hand you can tell a significant weight difference already so obviously these alleviate um blowing up in moisture in mats and things like that so let's get to it let's get a few of these different mats blown up and show you how it works So is it worth it as an upgrade? In my honest opinion, yes. As I said earlier, I bought this one. I have been sent products in the past, such as the uh, Tiny X2, but this was uh, too good to pass an opportunity on it. 1.2 ounces, fits in your pocket, fits in the, well, going in the uh, molly pouches that I organize quite well. Uh, so yeah, for me, it is worth an upgrade. I'll leave links downstairs to go and pick one up from uh, Outdoor Gear Essentials, Amazon, AliExpress, but shop around, feel free to click on them links. I don't get anything from any of them links, but uh, shop around, and get your best price. But for now, that's, this has been me for another video. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment, let me know what you thought. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing to the channel by pressing this in the middle. I'll see you in the next one.